Alrighty gang, tonight, tonight, the moon is about to turn blood red. It's because of a total lunar eclipse. The Earth will pass between the sun and the moon, blocking sunlight from reaching the lunar disk. The eclipse will be visible from all of North and South America. Now, you don't need any special eclipse glasses. You don't need telescopes or binoculars. All you have to do is look up in the sky and find the moon. I'll be on my rooftop watching, so follow me on Facebook and Instagram for my photos later on tonight. So what is an eclipse? Well, eclipses happen when one celestial body blocks sunlight from reaching another. Odds are last year you heard about a total solar eclipse. Solar eclipses are incredibly rare. They happen when the moon blocks sunlight to a very narrow swath of Earth. That's what we had on April 8th of last year. The next cross-country total solar eclipse in the United States isn't until 2045. Lunar eclipses, however, are much easier to see. They happen when the Earth passes between the Sun and the Moon. That makes the Moon turn red. If the Sun, Moon, and Earth were all in the same level plane, we'd get eclipses every month. But we don't. That's because the Moon's orbit is angled at about 5 degrees above that of Earth. So we only get a set of eclipses twice a year instead. During tonight's eclipse, the Moon will kind of slip behind Earth in the Earth's shadow. That will block most, emphasis on most, of the sunlight from hitting the Moon. The only light that the Moon gets is what skims along the edges of Earth through our atmosphere. Since the sunlight is passing through our atmosphere at a long angle, the shorter wavelengths get scattered away. That leaves behind red. It's the same reason why our sunrises and sunsets are red. In fact, during a total lunar eclipse, the light hitting the moon is the light from all of the world's sunrises and sunsets being cast onto the moon simultaneously. All that red light turns the moon red. And if you were standing on the moon, you would see like a little red ring around Earth. At 1.09 a.m. Eastern Time tonight, the edge of the Earth's shadow begins nicking the moon and starts moving across the lunar disk. You'll notice the shadow creeping onto the moon from the bottom left. Totality begins at 2.26 a.m. That's when the moon is fully bathed in the Earth's shadow. It lasts until 3.31 a.m. Eastern Time. Now the times are the same for everybody, but remember to adjust for time zone. 2.26 a.m. Eastern Time, but 1.26 Chicago, and like 11.26 on the West Coast. In the meantime, fingers crossed for good weather. I'm really excited. I'll be on my rooftop, but in any case, you can always get a free forecast, a hyperlocal forecast, in the My Radar app. And if you have good pictures, please send them my way. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see. Follow My Radar on social media: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.